Well, you know we love Mustangs at Redgate Farm, and we've just received some very exciting news. Stay tuned. Last fall, a young lady with a group of Mustangs decided to start out on a journey. She was gonna travel 5,000 miles across the country in hopes of raising awareness and finding adoptive homes for at least 5,000 Mustangs. It was a pretty big endeavor and I've been following their journey. We also put our farm on their list of hosts in the event they needed a place to stay as they passed through Illinois. Well, I didn't hear anything back at first, so I had uh, pretty much assumed they weren't coming near us. But this morning, while I was running errands in town, I got a phone call. So essentially, they were on the trail and uh, ran into a bit of an emergency and needed a quick place to stay. So we got the call and Sean hooked up the trailer and truck and went and picked them up at the trailhead. And Michaela and I and Kyla finished our errands and we are now headed home to meet them. So this is gonna be an exciting weekend. Okay, we're home and they beat us here. Oh wow, our round pen is full of horses. Mustangs, they're just not for us or our tip program. Hi guys. Well, we don't know anything about them yet, so we will have to ask their owner, but there is a mule in here as well. So I'm curious to get the story on that. It is a Mustang mule. It is branded. Um, check that out. I've heard these occur. They're just fairly rare. You don't see them very often. Hey there. <clears throat> so there you have it. It is a BLM mule and three Mustangs. Hey, you guys are pretty. So this is Lissam. She is the rider on this journey and she's going to introduce us to her horses. Yeah, so my name is Lissam Fear. I'm riding 5,000 miles to inspire the adoption and educate people on these amazing Mustangs that I have here uh, with me. So first off is Pistachio over here. Um, he's my Grulia. He was given to me for free as a gift. He was absolutely best gift I've ever received. Finn here uh, was my extreme Mustang makeover horse. <laughs> and uh, he's very food motivated. Anything can qualify it for, as food for him. Uh, he's the only reason why I'm in Mustangs. And I, I owe my life and livelihood to this horse. Uh, this horse here, uh, this is Chileno. Um, for the first five years, I really hated this horse when I knew him. I bought him two weeks just before this trip because I knew he could handle the miles. But uh, he's kind of like the star quarterback on the football team uh, that all of his teachers are just giving him pity sees to pass him so he can play on the team. So uh, he's definitely an interesting one, but he's been my main mount for the ride. And then hiding over here in the back now, I think she was just up here, uh, is Abilene. And she's a rare, elusive mule staying. So very few herds in the wild. Uh, actually overlap burrow herds and horse herds and mules are actually conceived in the wild um, but they're really hard and rare to find so she's kind of my unicorn and she's the one that inspired this whole trip because I wanted to show her off to the world. Right. Well, we are thrilled to have you guys and uh, I guess we got to get camp set up here. Yeah thank you guys so much. The Mustang Discovery Ride consists of Lucanne, her three Mustangs and Mule Stang, and two dogs, all traveling by horseback from Delaware all the way to California. As she travels, she is often joined by volunteers in each state. These volunteers become her crew, assisting with the animals, hauling supplies, filming footage for the documentary, or just riding alongside to keep her company. Breakfast time on the farm. <laughs> With the Mustang Discovery Ride crew. Um, We're pretending <laughs> like we eat like kings. What's, What's the this? Idea? What I just spilled the... Oh, he committed a felony. I know. <laughs> but he saved it. <laughs> We're just gonna... Oh, you got I'll leave now, I'm sorry. <laughs> So what is your favorite uh, standout experience or state or whatever so far? Um, yeah, I mean, each state has had something to offer. 
I spent the most time in West Virginia and now it, it holds a special place in my heart uh, for sure but Delaware was actually really surprising even though that was the smallest state there um, the very first place where we stayed at he had nine Mustangs yeah. and uh, he now has ten Mustangs he's adopted another one since then so uh, that that was really shocking just the amount of people that own Mustangs in the tiny small state of Delaware which is actually the same size as my county back home <laughs> um, yeah, Maryland, I mean, Maryland was pretty crazy uh, with Washington, D.C. and everything, but that C&O Canal Trail was just, oh, it was beautiful. Uh, then we came into Ohio and I uh, picked up quite a few Ohio souvenirs sitting next to me. <laughs> so, Including this, right? Yeah, oh, that's a <laughs> West Virginia. Oh, that's souvenir. a West Virginia pup. You said you yep. found him in a box? Yep. Wow. Well, he's got a good home now, huh, pup? Yep. So... I mean, each state has offered something a little <laughs> unique and different, that's for sure. I was not expecting the Hawking Hills in Ohio. That was stunning mm. uh, to stand on horseback underneath the waterfall there and uh, be able to launch a college program there uh, in terms of, like, training Mustangs. So I'm really excited about that coming along. And Indiana was probably some of the best hospitality I've ever come across. It was unreal, just that absolutely everyone that we ran into and met um, they, they just bent over backwards and it was unbelievable. And now we're in Illinois and, uh, you know, there's been some good and bad. I've never <laughs> seen so many snakes. <laughs> uh, but the hospitality has been good and riding through the woods on the river to river trail has been great. So yeah, they've, they've each offered a little bit of something. That's for sure. Yeah. It's really pretty there. I mean, I really, I really enjoyed the CNO and um, we stayed at a couple of phenomenal stables there, too, that were just, I mean, I've never seen, I'd only seen stuff like that in magazines <laughs> and movies, <laughs> and then to actually stay at them with uh, my little wild desert rats was kind of, kind of an interesting experience, but it was really great, so. Awesome. Yeah. Now, how did you guys join up? They were down the road at Valor, a veteran retreat that they're just setting up. Where is that? In, in Ohio. Okay. In Hawking Hills, Ohio. Okay, so you all picked up in Ohio. Mm -hmm. So, um, anyway, just kind of 24 hours later decided that um, I was going to go because she was continuing on down the road, okay, towards California. Alone. Alone. So, therefore, I was like, okay, she's not going alone. You know, I, I know I can make it to Indiana. Okay. I know I can make it to Ohio. I know I can make it to Indiana. And now I made it to Illinois, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to make it to California. <laughs> So, so I'm the joke that, that it's a joke that I'm the souvenir from Ohio. Oh, okay. <laughs> Which I, I... So she came to my college to give a talk about um, Mustangs and the story behind her journey. And um, yeah, I went up to her and I was like, hey, I've got a Mustang at home. Can you come look at him? And she was like, sure. And now I'm in Illinois. <laughs> so um, it was definitely worth it. A lot of fun. Um, I just ran into the whole group at a campground uh, in Shawnee National Park and then two days like, ago. Yeah. Oh really? So you're yeah. not an Ohio souvenir? No, no, no. I'm Illinois souvenir. Okay. Just for a few days, yeah. <laughs> cool. And then there's David over there hiding behind his camera. Hi there. I made a film called Mustang Saviors, which is a group of veterans that work with wild horses. Somebody asked me because of that film if I would follow Lisanne as she goes across the country through Illinois. So I was asked to be the Illinois filmmaker that contributes to the documentary of the Mustang Discovery Ride. So I'm excited to be part of it. Gotten to ride horses, wild horses, which are amazing animals. Through Uncon some wild terrain. Unconditionally will go through any and everything <laughs> that you point them towards. <laughs> a city kid on a horse through the woods with his cameras, who I am, and very impressed with the skill that these people ride through and the different people they've met along the way who love wild horses. I'm learning a lot more of the community and the club of Mustang owners that are in Illinois. So this has been a treat for me to be able to be part of this project and contribute. So I'm very happy that I can help raise awareness how amazing wild horses are and to help inspire the adoption of 5,000 or more out of holding pens, which they're across the country. So you guys are neat that you got to become a tip trainer and work with wild horses and your daughter 
uh, I think that's wonderful. So I'm really just happy that I could be part of but watching this unfold. We've got some visitors here coming to meet the Mustangs. Yeah, no problem. Boy, they're churning that ground up good, aren't they? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe it'll keep the briars down. You're welcome to pet. They're very friendly. The darker one over here is a little nibbly, though, so watch your hands. Do watch for and the, the hot wire. Oh, uh, the hot wire's on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we had a bit of an escape the first night. <laughs> <laughs> they hadn't turned it on yet, and <laughs> the horses went for a adventure. What is it? Yeah, that's You're my favorite. Hey, I know, I'm pretty. And you're pretty. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I gave you a shot. <laughs> <laughs> this one's your favorite? Yeah, I don't know. I, I like it. How old are they? We also don't I actually caught you not working. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> you videoing me not working? Don't do that. I'm videoing you not working. Don't put that on YouTube. <laughs> oh. I don't want people to think that I relax. Well, they're going to think you're a slave driver if you don't. <laughs> and we've gone to the dogs here. Not a single one of those is mine. There's mine. Why are you? That's a water hole. <laughs> She's drinking. They've all been taking turns drinking. So these dogs all belong to the uh, Mustang Discovery crew here. There's so. a fire there. This is their last night at Redgate Farm. So we're just enjoying conversation by the campfire. Yeah, so I was averaging about 100 miles a week um, for a little bit, but got pretty slowed down being back on trail like trail trails again versus just road miles so a lot of that was road then mm -hmm. okay. the, the most all of it most yeah. all okay i until the river to river trail i hadn't seen a trail since ohio or uh, west virginia looks like the time has come to depart they have been here for about four days and it's time to pack up and hit the trail again All the horses are being prepped. We're actually gonna haul them back to a trailhead so they can get back on their route. And they will ride off into the day. Oh, somebody just pegged their head. <laughs> well, this is one way to desensitize. <laughs> I can't even keep up. You two are a riot. And Dakota's back there trying to get in on it. Can't quite keep up. She's not small enough to duck under the trucks. <laughs> Rosa, you're such a silly girl. You're going to miss your new friends. Lasanne primarily rides Chileno, the buckskin. The other horses are used for the crew or volunteers to ride, and they're also used to pack supplies or just to rotate and give Chileno a break. On this day, I helped saddle up Finn for Claudia to ride. Hey, 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 hey. Don't be nippy. He's taking a bite out of me. There you go. I remember how to do a Western saddle. My Australians kind of spoiled me. It's so easy to oh, hop yeah. on. Mm. I'm getting a little bit there. Oh yeah, just a little bit, just a little bit. How about under the belly, you like that? Oh, there we go, there we go. Likes the belly scratch there. He does. <laughs> we got two of them saddled up. Puppies are patiently waiting. Looks like they know what to expect here. Resting up for the long trail ahead. For this project, the horses are currently traveling about the same distance each day as a wild herd would, between 15 and 25 miles. The horses are generally ridden for two to three days and then given one or two days off to rest. This keeps them in excellent condition. Two trees. 
For the purpose of this Mustang Discovery project, Lisanne must ride her horses the 5,000 miles. We are only loading them into the trailer to return her to the River to River Trail so she can pick up the trail again and be on her way. We have arrived at the trailhead. So there's two other horses here that are going to be joining them for part of the ride. So they're meeting up here at the trailhead. This is how we unpack the truck. <laughs> All right, well, it is time for me to bid farewell. So nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you, you all. So Glad we were able to be part of it. Good luck. I will be watching that YouTube when I get back. Home with it. I promise. <laughs> I promise. Yeah, it. send me the link to the YouTube once, it, once okay. you get it all cut together. I will do that. I just yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yep. Too much. Much. So, uh, your help. Especially when I needed it most during this. Uh, hopefully it put yeah. your mind at ease a little bit. And so. yeah. Everything worked out. So Made that's good. Easier. Yeah. Easier. Mm -hmm. And everybody's doing well, ready to hit the trail. Yeah.